Hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Will You Press That Button? Yes, we are back, at least for now. Again, we'll probably end up doing this and Happy Wheels, switching back and forth with all these because we're starting to get a lot of duplicate questions, and hopefully we spread these out a little bit more. There'll be a little bit less in the way of, well, duplicate questions. So, you will get free coffee wherever you go, but they will always get your order wrong. It says free. How would they? I'd be like, can I have, can I? I'm not sure if I say ice, ice coffee with milk and sugar. They'll give me a hot coffee with no milk or sugar. Yeah, sure. I mean, it's free. So, I mean, what, I mean, the downside is not what you order, but I go, I'm not a huge fan of coffee, but I'm fine with that because it's free. I'm okay with it being wrong. It's, it's still, if it's free, it's free. So I'm, you know, I'm sure there might be a time where something I don't like, but maybe there'll be a time where it is something I like. So, you can die a hero, but you may live long enough to become the villain. Well, that makes no sense. If you're going to die a hero, then you would not live long enough to become the villain. But if you die, if you live the hero, you become the... What the frig? I will not press that button because the question makes no sense. I will die a year, but then I will live long enough to become the villain. How does that even make sense? It doesn't. What the hell is that? Become God, but to realize the laws of physics don't allow miracles, so essentially you can't do anything. I mean, I think we've had that. We, that's a repeat question. I'm pretty sure I pressed a bunch just because it's fine with me. Maybe I'm God and I know I can't bend the laws of physics. There you go. You would never get itches, but you would have sky blue skin. Huh. I'm fine with feeling blue all the time. With not feeling blue. Looking blue all the time. Hell yeah! Be quite unique. People think it's... I don't know what the hell people would think it is, but you know what? Damn, scientists study me? I get money? Hell yeah! You can take possession of anybody's body for 24 hours, but... Your life... Sure, by 72 hours every time you do. Huh. You see... Your life will be shortened, right? By 72 hours. Alright, so you lose three days. By doing this. But it's not like you... It's, it's one of those like... Yes, there's a downside, but you don't have to use w the power. You know, you don't have to use the power. And maybe there'll be a time where you might use it. Like once or twice in your life, maybe? Also, you could learn cool things. Also, I'm thinking of becoming... Oh my god, I just... Oh my god. <gasps> Just had a thought. Just had a thought. Become a super rich person. And then have them give their entire wealth away. To the poor. Oh man, that would be amazing. That, of course, that includes me. Hell yeah, I'm okay with that. Because I'd, I'd uh, go to the wealth people and, uh, yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. You get a free tip to Mars, but you can't ever come back. Yeah, that sounds fine. It's fine. That's fine. I'm okay with going to Mars. Yeah, sure. This planet is pretty messed up. Although, do I really want to go to Mars and mess up another planet? Maybe, you know, we'll be better. The people who go to Mars will be better at sustainable things and stuff. Also, I'm assuming there's a colony there. And they've converted the atmosphere to breathable air. But if not, well, why the hell did I just press that button? Because now I'm screwed. Now I'm going to Mars and um, it's just me, me, myself, and a tiny little pod of hopefully enough air to breathe. You can break the laws of physics, but you might tear the very fabric of space-time when you do. Well, I don't have... It's one of those... You don't have to use it. I can get the power, but I don't have to use it. Like, sure. Just, I don't have to use it. Eh. You have the ability to save anyone who is just about to die, but this does not work on your family members or friends. I get the powers without any major consequences. I just can't save my loved ones. But I can save other people who also deserve saving. Just because I don't know them. A stranger is a friend you have not made yet. I can save people's lives. So, yeah. You receive an iPod that can download an unlimited amount of songs. But you have to listen to at least five songs of your least favorite genre every single day. Hell no. I will not press that button. I have all the music I want. I don't give a crap. I mean, yes, I could mute, I could, it says listening, I could turn the volume all the way down, but no. Also, it says iPod. Those things are, those are still a thing? 
people still use Apple pro iPods? I almost said Apple products. Yeah, what's your point? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Your crush or crushes. M mead it lie falls in love with you and dates you and you get kissing, cuddling, or anything you deserve. But they also punch you in the face once a day to show their affection and you can never leave the relationship. You see, this is gonna sound very weird. It's not that punching me in the face showing that they love my affection because it, it could be a, that's a punch. You know what I mean? It's a playful punch. You know, it's a playful punch. I'm okay with that. But the issue is you can never leave that relationship. You are stuck with said person. You have a literal ball and chain. You know, with the person you're dating. Because you can't leave them. You are stuck with them. And what happens if, like, you know, you have a crush on them, but then you... But then in the end, you realize it's not working out. But then you can't actually leave them. God, I'm not going to press that because of that very reason. Because that very reason. Also, I don't want to affect people's will. I want them to be with me because I actually want to be with them. Not because... I press the button, and that makes them want to be with me. Yeah. You can go back in time to any point in your life, but you can only remember one short phrase. Also, the current version of yourself. See, what the freak? Oh, you can only remember also the current version of... Okay. I will do this once. It will be to when the last lottery numbers were... Right before last numbers, last lottery numbers were picked when I was still able to buy those... And I'm still able to buy those tickets. So I, the one phrase is the lottery numbers. Boom! I'm not really going back and very far. Yeah, that sounds good. Also, I mean, the other thing you could do is, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna relive my life. And go back to being a baby, relive your entire life. Maybe not the entire life, but, you know, go back to a certain point. You can breathe underwater, but only with your eyes closed. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Sure. I just because my eyes have to be closed, that's fine. Also, why would you not? Because you can't breathe underwater without this. Yeah. You get super intelligence, a perfect memory, and psychic powers, but your muscles become too weak to move. Okay, so I am a genius. I have a perfect memory. I'll never forget anything. And I have psychic powers. But I can't move. So... I know I'm realizing I'm saying this now, before I am my little issue, but Stephen Hawking? Kinda? Kinda Stephen Hawking-ish? You know what I mean? Except, I mean, he doesn't quite have all that, but he's definitely a super intelligent and an amazing memory. But he must have too weak, too weak to move. Also... I said realization. You know what else is a muscle? It's right here. Your heart is a muscle. If it's too weak to move, you're dead. So, no, I will not press that button because I will be dead if I press that button. There you go. What? Kill Joffrey, but kill Daenerys. Well, spoilers to Game of Thrones, but Joffrey dies. By poisoning. He was poisoned and he died. And I could have killed Daenerys. Yeah, she, you know. She's not perfect by any means. So yeah, no, I'm not press that button. I couldn't kill Danny. Couldn't do that. Couldn't do that. You can eat and drink as much as as, as you want. Without getting fat. No strokes, etc. But you cannot urinate or release bowels, so you would die within a couple of weeks. So that would kind of defeat the purpose of pressing the button. Unless I say you, of course if it was, but you never have to urinate again. Wait, what? I will not press that because you will die eventually. You will go boom! You will be the smartest person on earth, but you will be extremely ugly. Well, that's, that, I'm okay because I already am. Okay. I already am that last word. Maybe not that adjective, but I am that last word. So yeah, sure. I'm gonna be the smartest person on earth. There you go. It's fine. 
You can read the mind of anyone that is near you, but you have no control over it and are always having other people's thoughts no matter how many people there are around you. Eh. 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 Eee! No! I don't want- you, I, don't, I mean, almost- it almost doesn't matter what the balance I was. Unless I had control over it, but no, I was not gonna press that button. I don't know! I don't wanna- I think I really don't wanna read people's thoughts. I mean, yes, there's people near you, but imagine if you like going to a concert! God, there's too much in your head! There's so many things I couldn't enjoy anymore! You get the superpower of your choice, but the entire world becomes one giant musical! Oh, that's cool. But if the whole world's in the musical, they're all in on it, so why it's the downside? I'm okay with that. My superpower is to have all superpowers at once. You get to have a solo on Broadway, but you have a bad cold that angrily affects your voice. No, oh, I am your father. Yes, yeah, solo. Solo. Also, it's funny because my brain went right to solo. Han Solo. You get to have a Han Solo on Broadway, but you have a bad cold and it affects your voice. Well, I mean, you know, I don't mind watching Han Solo on Broadway, no. Um, with my stage fright and everything, but if I can't sing, the thing is, Broadway doesn't always mean singing, I think. But nah, I'm good. I'll say, yeah, my fear, my stage fright says, uh, no, don't do it. Don't do it! You can live in your dream house and live with your dream partner, but... You live with him, her, alone on a desert island, and it rains forever. Hmm. Also, a desert island means it doesn't rain. But yet then it says it rains forever, which means that is a contradiction. But my dream house, and my, my, and my dream partner, but it's a deserted, at the island, it rains for, but I'm assuming we have infinite food. Also, just because you're the one living on an island, you could be right off off the shore somewhere. Or in the middle of a lake near civilization. Yeah. Sure, why not? I'll press that button. Sounds good to me! Alright. Just because you have to live there doesn't mean you have to, yeah. You can still travel. I'm not saying you're stuck there. So, you know. Anyway, guys, I think that's a good stopping point. If you enjoyed this episode of Will You Press the Button, hit that like button and be sure to subscribe, of course, if you press that button, let me know. If you not press that button, let me know. You basically, let me know if you agree or disagree with what I said. I'm curious to know why. Hope you guys are still enjoying these videos. I'll see you all next time. Have an amazing day. Bye, everybody.